It is the 27th of the 7th, 2012. Uh, please forgive the sound of tank tracks <laughs> in this uh, report. Uh, they're doing construction across the way, and uh, we've got a bulldozer um, moving dirt around, so it's been squeaking for two days now. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net. Uh, they've got a series of different stories um, on the food crisis. Time is running out. World in serious trouble on food front. In the early spring of 2012, U.S. farmers were on their way to planting some 96 million acres of corn, uh, the most in 75 years. A uh, warm early spring got the crop off to a great start. Analysts were predicting the largest corn harvest on record. And uh, here it is into the end of July and we know better. Uh, the percentage of crop loss is increasing as the drought worsens here in the United States. Rising food prices and social unrest. New report shows that all hell will break loose in one to two years uh, as prices increase and things become harder to acquire. Um, just a further strain on, on the ongoing system. Global food price crisis imminent as extreme weather wreaks havoc upon crops. And this is ongoing around the world. Uh, we're having extreme weather and crop loss situations. Um, if you haven't stocked up by now, uh, now is the time to uh, at least invest in some food staples that can carry you um, through a prolonged period of shortages. USDA warns drought will bring about, quote, significantly higher food prices by 2013. And again, better grab it now. Um, beef prices are going, and meat prices are going to go down. Um, this is just all the ranchers killing off their herds because they can't feed them. So the price of meat will reduce before it spikes again um, quite significantly once they purge their herds kind of thing. Um, so if you're seeing some good meat deals in your local shop, time to grab up and uh, stock up. And finally, Arizona, Haboob, dust storm hits Phoenix area again. Um, they've been having an ongoing situation uh, through the Arizona area where these big sandstorms roll through. And uh, Arizona public's been covering it pretty well. Uh, I do enjoy his videos. New fault line found in Fort Stockton, Texas, could threaten city's water. A city council member makes a shocking discovery in Fort Stockton, and what he found could threaten the city's main water source. Uh, apparently, there's just a continuous crack, and he walked it, like he said, for about two miles um, trying to follow the crack, and it turns out it, it is a fault line, and it's running through their water source kind of thing. Mysterious gas, gas bubbling up in Louisiana bayous for nearly a month, and this is an ongoing environmental situation. Um, the oil companies are going on and on about how this is not a leak in the line somewhere, and they're out testing this methane release uh, coming up through the cracks in the bayous of Louisiana. And again, I've covered this. It's been ongoing. Loud noise remains a mystery in, in uh, Hoon Valley, Tasmania. A mysterious rumbling noise remains a hot topic in the Hoon Valley some 10 days after it was heard. Hundreds of residents are still unable to explain the source of the 22nd roar. Strange things indeed. Could gas leaking from California's seafloor be the source of mystery odor? Question mark. Uh, Scripps Institution of Oceanography RAB students discovered the site of a methane seepage 20 miles west of Del Mar. The strange smell, 10 News viewers reported Tuesday, is now being reviewed by the San Diego Air Pollution Control District. Uh, they're not 100% what's going on right now, uh, but there is some strange smells going on in Southern California. Over to the extinction protocol, storms knock out power to thousands of plants. Uh, storm knocks out power to thousands from the plains to the northeast. Hundreds of thousands lost power to a potent storm system that extended eastward from the plains towards the northeast on Thursday, bringing with it high winds and destructive lightning. Severe thunderstorm watches were in effect at one point Thursday evening for a continuous stretch from Oklahoma through New Jersey. Uh, the danger could lurk for several hours longer, with the National Weather Service issuing such warnings in Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, Kentucky, Virginia, Arkansas, and other points in between. 
Oh uh, yeah, that was a big storm system rolled through, and uh, I'm posting videos. Sweet, sweet rain. Uh, we didn't get it too severe here, but the skies sure were angry. Worsening Illinois drought points to increasingly ominous signs for crops. Likely worst on record, and this just goes to uh, compile um, the food crisis area again. Um, if you have not stocked up on at least the basics for a little while to get you through a pinch, uh, now is the time before it gets very, very, very expensive. And a new report suggests summer storms could create new ozone holes as Earth warms. I'm calling bullshit on this story. Uh, let's not forget all the radiation uh, that has been released into the northern hemisphere and what does that do? to our protective ozone layer. Let's blame it on everything but the nuclear industry, shall we? America's infrastructure, infrastructure buckling from climate change. We're being hit with one storm of the century every year now, and again, uh, the strange weather is global. And that's about all I want to cover off of there tonight. Over to the RSOE real quick. Uh, of course, uh, Beijing still dealing with the aftermath of that super uh, storm that came through and flooded out entire neighborhoods. Uh, Japan's declaring a heat wave. Uh, they've had four deaths due to the heat. They're saying it's supposed to continue uh, through August and September. And, uh, yeah, it's another excuse. Let's turn on the nuclear reactors because it's too hot. Force fire in Canada, province of Manitoba, Red Sucker Lake First Nation. Uh... Wasagamak, First Nation, St. Teresa Point, First Nation, and Garden Hill, First Nation. Uh, Forest Fire, Montana, southeast of Columbus. Uh, tornadoes in New York, El Elmira, New York, uh, due to that big storm system I just reported on. Uh, da -da -da -da. And, of course, uh, got a volcano, Sakurajima. Uh, continues its very, very, very active um, eruptions. And that's about all I want to cover climate change wise tonight. Let's just go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff. Any news? Japan University expert mass protest going to have a huge impact. Human chain to encircle parliament on Sunday. Now they've um, pretty much canceled the normal Friday come rain or shine protests outside the prim uh, Premier's office this this Friday uh, because they want to pull all the resources into the big event on Sunday kind of thing. Uh, but from the reports I've seen, uh, people are showing up to protest anyway. Severe damage from 311 quakes suspected for some of the three reactors at Fukushima Daiichi. Investigate panel raises serious questions about quake resistance at nuclear power plants. And again, they're firing up ones with active fault lines right underneath them and still arguing about that. Japan Times, Fukushima workers were concerned pressure was escaping from cracks caused by 311 quake. TEPCO refuses to investigate inside reactor number one for quake damage. Uh, again, can they even get close inside of reactor number one? They just threw a tarp over it and walked away. NHK reporter can't contain laughter while discussing Japan reactor built on top of a fault line. Uh, if it wasn't so damn serious, it would be funny. Uh, major shock. Japan stuns World Cup champions, blah blah, Olympics. What happens when a top rapper and top comedian sit down to talk? Discussion of plutonium, neutrons, and Fukushima ensue. They have a video on that. At least people are getting up and actually talking about what is going on. Corrosion confirmed at Japan nuclear power plant. Seawater flowed into reactor presser vessel years before prospects will be known. And uh, again, the, they dumped all, all this salt water onto these nuclear reactors. And salt water and metal do not match at all. And uh, they've been patching this thing. Patching this thing. Internal nuclear experts turning attention to o uh, Okinawa nuke plant. Intensity of 311 quake exceeded maximum limit. Ex-Fukushima Daiichi worker, quote, There are leaks everywhere. 
TEPCO portraying situation in best possible light. Of course, corporate damage control and the lawyers have taken over. Um, but again, here they get to dump the with salt water, the corrosion, and now they're reporting leaks just about everywhere. Uh, the state of the reactors is still degrading, uh, deteriorating. The incident is still progressing, says Jack, Japanese nuclear specialist. How do you remove radioactive material without releasing it? All we can do now is pray. And uh, Japan Times editorial board, irreparable damage from nuclear disaster. One wonders, wonders whether piping can be okay when hit by strong quake. Many questions remain unanswered after the investigations. And you got to remember, they've already posted their final report on what happened with Fukushima and didn't really cover shit. Uh, video of ex-Fukushima chief reactor 3 debris flew into the control room after explosion. Workers, saints in hell, thought he could have died. And, uh, yeah, just the insanity with the cleanup of this thing. And, uh... Quite something. Extremely radioactive sample from Tokyo air, air filter. 150 times more uranium than expected. This is from Fukushima, says uh, Busby. And if you don't know who Chris Busby is, uh, he's a nuclear expert out of Europe. Uh, that's been doing some outstanding uh, videos shining light on this situation. Da, da, da. Yeah, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on, of course. Uh, try to enjoy Way Can, everybody. It's a beautiful day here. I've actually got the house open, and uh, 80 degrees never felt so good. Enjoy Way Can. Thanks. Hello!